A Jefferson County woman says she feared for her husband's life as she watched a driver brutally beat him, fracturing his skull. Good evening, I'm Mike Bush. And I'm Ann Allred. This attack happened yesterday near Highway 30 and New Sugar Creek Road. Our Robert Townsend is live in Jefferson County where he talked to the victim's wife. Robert? And Bernita Swing says she and her husband got to scare their lives right here in the Steak and Shakes parking lot. I was scared to death. What was supposed to be a routine ride home from the doctor's office suddenly took a frightening turn for 63-year-old Bernita Swank and her 68-year-old husband, Lloyd. Well, he was just <laughs> driving crazy. She's talking about this man, Bradley Jordan. Swank says Wednesday afternoon, she and her husband were traveling near Highway 30 and Northwest in their minivan when Jordan was driving recklessly and cut them off. But the car next to me, he slammed on his brakes to keep from, uh, oh, was going to rear end that car and he cut over in front of me. He flipped me off and I flipped him back and he went and put it, the Jeep in reverse and backed into my van. Bernita followed Jordan a couple of miles into the parking lot at this steak and shake to get his license plate number and call police. Swank says they were here in the parking lot at this steak and shake when Jordan opened the passenger side door of their minivan and then began repeatedly punching her husband in his face with a closed fist. A passerby shot this cell phone video of the attack. I was afraid he was going to kill him. And I ran over and was trying to help and the guy threatened to hit me. Deputies arrested Jordan a few miles away at his home in High Ridge. Lloyd Swank, a Vietnam War veteran, suffered a skull fracture, a concussion, and a broken nose. It does hurt to think somebody can be that mean to another person. Amid all the tears, she's thankful she still has her husband of 20 years. I think angels were there, and I think my mom was probably protecting him too. Lloyd Swink is now back home getting some much needed rest. That suspect is now in jail and facing several charges. Let me tell you, he's being held on a $500,000 cash only bond. We're live in Jefferson County. I'm Robert Townsend. Five on your side. An 18 year